Welcome to the AMG Driving Academy. It's a curriculum imported from Europe where we have one, two, and three-day courses where you'll get to experience virtually the whole line of AMG vehicles provided for you. World-class driving instructors at some of the greatest racetracks in North America. Hi, I'm Tommy Kendall, four-time Trans Am champ and host of Test Drive on Speed Channel. Welcome to the AMG Driving Academy. I hope you enjoy these short films that take you through a little bit of the curriculum that we teach at the Academy. There's an infinite number of lines on any corner or racetrack, but there's only one fastest. Now we're on the autocross course uh, where we start tying all this stuff together. We've been working on uh, eye work, brake technique. The whole point of uh, line technique is you're trying to minimize how much you turn the wheel. The tighter you have to turn, the more you have to slow down. And so you use every inch of road. You start out wide, all the way down to the inside of the corner, which we call the apex or the clipping point. Then you drift all the way out. You have a turn-in cone. You have an apex or a clipping cone, which is the low point of the corner. And then you have an exit cone on the exit. And so it's kind of like a big game of connect the dots, literally. Obviously, it's a lot more complicated than that when you start going faster. And we'll give you a little idea of the cadence, how quickly this stuff happens. Exit cone, brake, threshold braking, downshift, turning cone, trail brake, ease off the brake, look for the apex cone, pick up the exit cone, feed in throttle. And that is one lap of the autocross course. Now the eye work is what's so important and you don't want to target fixate. So as I'm approaching this apex cone, I switch to my peripheral vision. I'm already looking way out here for the exit because as you feed in throttle and the car starts to use up road, you want to pick that up as soon as possible. Same thing here. I turn in here, but I'm already looking way over there for the apex cone. As I approach the apex cone, I'm looking to the exit cone. It's exaggerated here on the autocross course because it's so tight, but it's a, it's a good exercise because if you spend too much time thinking about what you just did, you're way behind on what's coming up. Now the apex is basically your tightest point on the corner and uh, you can have early apex, kind of mid apex or late apex. This corner here is kind of classic late apex, meaning the clipping point is way around the corner. And so the point of that is this corner is so long, you don't want to exit way out there. So you, you, the, you move the apex around depending on what's coming up next in the course. If straightaway speed is really important, a late apex is exactly what you want. So leading onto a straightaway like this one, a late apex is important. This is also what's called an increasing radius, meaning the corner opens up as you go through it. Early apex, they're not as common, but if you early apex in a corner that should be a late apex, you're gonna end up running out of road and you're gonna be getting to the edge of the road and you're gonna be jerking out of the throttle trying to keep the car on the track when your competitors, if they've set it up right, they might have had to slow down a little bit more entering the corner, but they're gonna be feeding in throttle and building speed all the way onto the straightaway while you're getting out of the gas trying to keep it on the racetrack. This is literally a life's work, but once you start breaking it down, it kind of is like a big game of connect the dots where you have the turn in point, the apex, and the track out or exit point. If you didn't know, all the content is filmed on a closed course by professional drivers. Do not try this on public roads. Always wear your seatbelt and drive responsibly.